MoviePass Beta is in full swing now that the over 800,000 on its waitlist have been invited to join. As more beta users test the new system, others are waiting and watching to see how it all plays out. So here are the latest developments with MoviePass. Some beta testers who have received their MoviePass card report that the ID on the card simply says MoviePass member, while others received custom cards in their name. No doubt thousands of these generic cards were made up in anticipation of the onslaught of signups that are being sent out to meet demand. Some users have received both cards, and a number of them report that they've been able to activate only one or the other. Other MoviePass fans who signed up for the beta are still waiting for their card, going on three weeks now. That said, a number of them have at least received a follow-up email from MoviePass asking if their card has made it yet. Lack of communication has been an ongoing complaint about MoviePass for the last few years, so it's encouraging to see some improvement in that area. So far, a promising number of beta testers report that the card works as advertised, and they've been using MoviePass 2.0 with no problem. Now, a great many say it can take days for the app to deduct the used credits from their account balance, requiring the user to keep track of what they've spent. MoviePass FAQ states that any purchases beyond the allowance for that month will be charged for the overage. If a movie is playing at your theater but not showing up on the app, choose Missing Movie. You can then use your card for any standard movie. Those who invested in Stacy Spike's MoviePass alternative pre-show via a Kickstarter campaign back in 2019 we're pleased to see that their support is finally being rewarded. Pre-show backers are getting three free months of MoviePass added to their account for the basic and standard tiers. Premium and Pro tiers get three $20 credits. These Kickstarter backers were given a unique promo code to apply to their account. Any unused credits roll over for one month. At no time do monthly credits exceed twice the amount for that particular tier. And to answer a question that many have, MoviePass only allows the purchase of one ticket per day. They say you'll eventually be able to bring a friend, just not yet. MoviePass 2.0 testers can now invite friends to join the beta. This is limited to 10 friends, as they've talked about for a while. Again, it's all in beta, so there are things to work out. Most users are just glad to see MoviePass back, even with its current limitations. So, things are moving along with MoviePass. We'll stay on top of it for you, so please like and subscribe. And if you're wondering how to use your MoviePass card, just check out everything you need to know about MoviePass. Thanks for watching.